Good day, folks. Thanks for viewing into our show here at Lake TV Channel 90. My name is Mike Courier, and we're here to talk with lots of fascinating people from all around the lake to find out why the Lake of the Ozarks is just a good place to visit and a wonderful place to live and raise a family. Today I have a good friend, uh, Larry Gowdy. Larry, thanks for coming in today. Larry uh, operates and owns a marina out uh, west of Camdenton. We'll find more about that. I have no idea what goes on in a marina, so we'll find out. Larry is one of my instructors at um, Life Christian University. He's a teacher there, does a lot of good things. Um, Larry, give us about a one-minute um, biography of who Larry really is and where he came from and what you do. Well, actually, uh, as a young man, we moved down here from Waterloo, Iowa. Oh. So I was in farm country, and Dad had worked for John Deere's tractor company for years. He was in their experimental farm. And uh, of course we'd started boating in Iowa on the Mississippi River and really enjoyed boating. Well a few years, when I was like 15 years old, Dad came down and he and a friend of his bought a resort. And that resort was Sportsman's Resort which is right across the lake from the marina that I own now. Uh, my first job was at the marina that I own. I was pumped gas and cut grass. <laughs> well, they found out I was a little bit mechanically oriented, so they sent me to outboard school, and next thing I know, I'm working on boats. And uh, always been, Dad had always been mechanical, of course, since he worked for John Deere's. And, um, so the big thing that I remember about that is I'd be working on somebody's boat, and they'd come up and say, you're too young to work on these things, aren't you? But I really enjoyed it. And um, eventually uh, ended up after a couple years in college and four years in the Marine Corps, came back to the lake and found out the marina was for sale. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I ended up buying G&G &G Marina and we're located on the one mile mark of the Little Niagara, 37 and a half mile mark from the dam. And of course you go out to Roach, Missouri and get on double A to find us. We're at the end of Maritime Lane. And uh, I've been there now for 40 years as of July 15th. Wow. Uh, I always tell people I feel that I've really been blessed because I've had a job and work that I enjoy. And you find people that complain about their jobs all the time, but um, it was one of those things that uh, I look back and, and feel very, very privileged that I was able to raise my kid here and live here and enjoy the lake. And of course, working here, you don't enjoy the lake like you should. Uh, the boating, the skiing, and that type of thing kind of get put on the side. I'll do it tomorrow. Anyway, uh, four years in the Marine Corps, I got some instructor training, some electronics training, and that has helped me in the, in the business all along. And uh, Served two years as president of the Chamber of Commerce in Camdenton, uh, along with several years on the board of directors. Uh, spent uh, several years on the board for the Lake of the Ozarks Marine Dealers Association. Um, as uh, spent a year as president there. Uh, I have been involved with American Boat Yacht Council as an adjunct instructor for them on some of their uh, seminars and certification courses. Uh, involved with Marine Industry Technical Education Committee, um, which was set up to try to define and set up an educational system to train technicians for the marine industry. Um, all these things have been great learning experiences and has helped me dramatically. That's right. Um, I have been, uh, in the last few years, I haven't been as involved with those organizations, but the uh, Visitors Bureau, Marine Dealers Association, Chambers of Commerce, uh, we have always supported as a, the local type organizations mm -hmm. and I've always believed in them. So uh, as a president of the Marine, uh, not Marine Dealers, but as uh, president of the uh, Chamber of Commerce, one of the visions I had that which never came to fruition was getting the whole lake area to work together on projects. Mm -hmm. which, as you well know, gets yes. to be rather... <laughs> chopped up. <laughs> chopped up. But if you stop and think, if we could focus all this energy 
into some major projects, it could be really great. I think it's coming, but it's not where it's it, supposed it, to be. Yeah, so, it's right, not yet. Yeah. And your wife, Carol, is the director of Life Christian University here? Yes. Um, Carol had been going to uh, Walk on Water Faith Church for several years, and uh, I finally started going to church here. And, of course, I've known Dr. Larry Allison since high school, believe it or uh -huh. not. Uh, I even had a wonderful experience of flying an airplane with him, and we prayed a lot at the time, but <laughs> as I always tell him. Yeah. But um, she uh, got involved with Life Christian University and uh, earned her doctorates. And at the time, the gentleman that was uh, with Life Christian University administrator, who was involved in very, very many other projects, and asked her to take over, so she did. And in the process of that, I was taking courses, so naturally my spouse decided I ought to start doing some instructing yeah. and, and that's part of earning my master's degree so and instructing and teaching